These tailors meticulously cut through the fabric, which are the main components for making disposable cloth diapers or napkins. Covers, is, uh, they are easy. I can make like even 10, 12, because snapping them, you first have to snap before you start joining them. So, Valerie Muigai established the business at her home in Bukoto in Kampala with her husband two years ago. She now employs three tailors and a sales lady who distributes the diapers in different homes. The cover is made with waterproof materials and the absorbent part, which we call the soaker, snaps inside. Then when the soaker gets wet or dirty, it can be removed and another one put in so that the cover only has to be washed after every two or three soakers. Valerie's ingenuity with diapers started at her home in the U.S. as a way to cut cost. My husband's school fees were very expensive, so we were looking online to try to find ways that we could save money on diapers. And that's when we discovered modern cloth diapers. However, the product's main attraction is its choice of materials, cotton and polyester, that are friendly to the environment since they can decompose. The main problem in Uganda is the disposal of diapers. Kampala Capital City Authority officials find themselves seated at the heart of it. We would want people from our homes is that when a diaper is used up, don't mix it with your household waste that may be like your matoke peelings or anything, leave that over all waste. Because then, for us, if we are to dispose of safely, it is a challenge because it's mixed up with that. Speciosa Bagueneza, a mother of a one and a half year old, started using the cloth diapers more than a year ago. I bought only four, and I've used them for one and a half years now. Size? An average child will go through several disposable diapers in their early years. Many of the diapers end up in landfills like Kitezi. Some experts say it takes about 500 years for diapers to decompose because they are not easily biodegradable. In most cases, products like this would be made from factories, which also pollute the environment by emitting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. KCCA says it spends 5 billion shillings each financial year to manage such solid waste. If you have a landfill as regards the disposal, if something can biodegrade, in most cases it will persist, but also that means the lifespan of your landfill may tend to be reduced because of them not being easily biodegradable. Then diapers are actually fire retardants, which means they don't burn well. So here in Kampala, that's a huge problem because a lot of people burn their rubbish. It is not yet conclusively proven, but there are some who argue that disposable diapers have the potential to cause cancer, asthma, and hormone disruption. They cite the presence of non-renewable petroleum products in it that are harmful to the environment. Some of the products are dioxins, sodium polyacrylate, dyes, fragrances, and phthalates. There's a byproduct of the bleaching process called dioxins, which are extremely toxic, and they're one of the most potent cancer-causing chemicals that we know about. They're banned in most countries. One of the challenges with washable diapers, however, is the amount of water used for cleaning and also the inconvenience. Even our mothers washed for us, so now washing cannot be a problem to us. Let's just wash, but that's the way we can save money. Valerie is one of the few makers of the reusable diapers in the country. Moses Akena, NTV.